Welcome back to Iterates. This is week 69, day 2. Let's take a look at our defenses. Um, nothing came in. So, we can just go straight into the bottom. Um, I did change Ryoma. Um, I gave him Attack Smoke and I gave him Bracing Attack Rest. Instead of... Um, he had... Um, uh, fear stance, I believe it was that he had. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, I want to say it was fear stance. Yeah, he had fear stance on. So I switched that to bracing attack rest for a little more attack. Um. Still don't know if I want to keep Glimmer or want to give him Mumbo, but for now he's going to stick with that. Um, other than that, everything should be the same as uh, before. So let's double up and go. Alright, like I said, we will be finding Traceers in this season. And there's one right there. Dragon Alex. Alright, so this is pretty ugly. Double Dancer. Cordelia. There's a plus one air with reposition HP attack 2. A plus two Julia with mirror impact, of course. And drawback. And this in defense 3. It's a plus two Tracer with Astra, Darting Blow, her Panic Smoke, and Reposition. Cordelia plus ten plus five Gale Force. Cordelia's Lance Reposition, Swiss Pyro three, Aerobatics Defense Smoke, Swiss Pyro two. This thing cannot be tank. Uh, we have Zura with Wings of Mercy, Gale's Dance, Mumbo, mm, Gale Dance. If you can, don't use it, uh, it's, especially for Azura, it's better to have a Torrent Dance or Earth Dance since that gives you plus 5. And we have Performing as Azura, plus 1 with Mumbo, Fury, Wings of Mercy, Drive, I mean Attack Rest Mount, she comes with Drive Rest. Okay, so this is going to be pretty horrible. Um, best thing I could do would be to go with Fjorm. The problem is there is no way I can outspeed this thing, this Tracer. She has 40, 50 speed. That's 50 speed with Astra. There is no way I can tank that. Like, the best thing I can do is like. Uh, destroy this ether right here to draw out um, Julia, which should cause Cordelia to move and most likely get repositioned and then dance. There is no way for them to get out there, that's at the very least um, a good sign. Conversely, I could go with Ryoma, put him here, and he should be able to bait both Azura and Azura. By baiting them both out, um, Cordelia will not be able to reach, because she won't just teleport because she doesn't have a, an assist. And we should be faster than both. The only problem becomes that Panic Manor will be in a level 60. But we can get rid of it. Just cannot get rid of these two things. Because if we're going to go from here, it has to be far away to draw out these two. So we need to go with Ryoma. So we'll go, I don't, 
Mm. We go with this only Ryoma that puts his HP at 43, 53, 58. So at 58 HP, he's still not going to be able to avoid the panic manner. So I think it's best to just go with this one. His speed will be lower. But I don't think he can take on Julia. And Julia hits really, really hard. So I don't know if I want to try to tank Julia with uh, one of my heirs. But I definitely need Ryoma to be able to get rid of Tracia. So either I go all in on Ryoma or I bring Fionn for backup. Should be able to bait both dancers, not a problem. You only have 54. Technically you only have 60 and you're the problem. There are no hardy bearings at the very least. So I, uh, I'll go all in on Ryoma. The good thing is I can give him buffs from anywhere thanks to uh, Silk because his speed is much higher than anyone else's. So we need to get rid of this so we can easily get rid of it once we get over here. There's no way for you to jump, so we can take this Death and then do this. And we'll take care of this. So as you can see, he's been debuffed, but that's because of the panic banner. On my blade. So Good morning. Choices, choices. take out the panic banner. Dancing by the way. Assistance. Do I mm, could put Looking silk to here it. to move him? This is turn two. I start turn three. This is gonna activate. But I can just go here, choices, choices. and I should be able to bring them both down. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry about that forgot to turn the animations on, especially the map animations. Alright, so we should be able to take one hit from Tresir, and that leaves us with Cordelia to deal with. Um, no, one, two attacks, so we don't want to Yeah, we don't want to go destroy this yet. Alright, so we will leave him here for the time being. We will get rid of this just so... We don't have to worry about the tactics manner. Alright. That puts us in vantage. Alright. So from here, we can take out Julia. Which one are you? Your reposition, your drawback. Ah, uh, we need this one.
We throw back. We heal. Alright. I understand. Should be okay to do this. Maybe this way. Pleasant dream. On my blade. All right, turn four. At least we are not pressed for turns. Yes. All right. Cordelia. Um. Hmm. Your position. Okay, I, yes. we can do this. Take you out. Well, not take you out, but weaken you enough. So we can do this. And we are her we are out of her range. Looking so forward to it. We can finish her off next turn. She can only go one way. Choices, choices. I understand. Ah, and we can finish her with Ryoma. Alright. That's it, we were able to go all in on Ryoma. Thanks to him having that 51 speed, we were able to not have to worry about Tracers. Yep. All right, that went a lot better than yesterday. We didn't lose a single unit. Okay, nothing has come. Uh, I had noticed that, that his name is Astrid is near. Astrid is one of the units that have been waiting the most for him to join the game for like ever. Uh, now on to news. The update is live. Um, there is um, a clarification on Deltia's bow. In the trailer, it makes it seem like she always ha she always gets uh, the desperation effect, but she only gets the desperation effect if she has a penalty or if her HP is less than a hundred. So it works like desperation. I mean, she still gets it more than if she had desperation on it, and it's a little more consistent than the um, than the units that have desperation at full HP, but. That's clarification. The um, uh, what are these things called? The manuals, the compound manuals are life. What do I keep forgetting? The, thing in? the divine codes. Divine codes are life. So we still don't know how to get the the affair the ephemeral, but on the normal ones, there's one, two, three, four. Five, six, six, like um, pretty much most people have calculated they were going to be. So it's basically these are just combat manuals that you get. For me specifically, I will be going for this one. Uh, Leaf for merges, Deirdre for merges, and Sigurd for merges, but Lewin for special spiral. And Ishtar for Swiss Sparrow four, uh, Swiss Sparrow three. So this is this to me is the most valuable one, um, mostly because special spiral. But there's this one has blue flame at only two, um, 1200, which is actually 2400. You need 2400 to be able to get it. And this one has Fury 4 at the end of the road. This is this encounter. This is Fortress Death Rest. And this is, of course, Mirror Impact. Um, 
with Yilgur being here, I do expect that we might start seeing a uh, sorcery blade being used a little more. Um, it is certainly very easy to get at only 1200 um, divancos for some reason I just can't remember it um, so at only 1200 divine codes you can get Yilgur for sorcerer blade so that's pretty good uh, for those who like Celica Celica is for merges because um, the only thing that she has that's good for inheritance is distant defense 3 which um, we do have in the Grail system with Picnic uh, Leo. I think it's Picnic Leo, or yeah, it's Pic Picnic Leo. Um, yeah, pretty much. Some of them are not as worth, like. For example, Cordelia does have Dull Range, I mean Dull Close, which was pretty exclusive skill, but we do have it on the Grail system now. Leanne has both Flyer Formation and Mirror Stance, but both of those are seals. Lilina has Attack Tactics, but that's... Um, very easily obtaining a 3 to 4 star pool from Legault. Bright Oshida has the Blessed Bouquet and Attack Rest 2. Um, and Alphonse, of course, has Defense Smoke. Giant Spoon is just Wood Out. Uh, Wugon, so there's really no need to inherit that unless you just like it for aesthetic reasons. On um, the second one, this is Benchful Fighter. We still don't have any of the fighter skills in any 3 to 4 star units, so or any Grail units for that matter. Uh, Elincia does have Attack Speed Push, but it's only Attack Speed Push 3, which that one. Those are only good for like healers or if you have like um, a unit with Mystic Boost so they can heal afterwards. A melee is going to be pretty valuable for many people because we still don't have um, armor boots, I mean armor march in the Grail Pool or in any 3 to 4 stars. Deirdre has Speed Ploy and uh, Quick Repose, we, we still don't have Quick Repose 3 in the 3 to 4 star pool. Uh, for the third one, we of course have Owain, which is very valuable because she's the only source of Blue Flame. Well, Blue Flame is not good on every unit and in Ether Raids is not as good just because it's very difficult to have a unit be adjacent to another unit most of the time it is still a really good uh, special and it scores high she also has Wrath so you can inherit Blue Flame and Wrath as Blue Flame only requires Bonfire you can also inherit Attack Death Spawn or I guess Spur Death Spur Speed Death if you want but Owen is very valuable because you can pass his special and his A, B, or C skills. Uh, Leith, um, basically all she has is speed dev solo and beast, home beast. But home beast is also available on Leanne. So, and she's only 400. So if you want home beast, Leanne is in the same uh, column or in the same line as her so it is easier to get for Nino she has Swiss Sparrow but we do have that with Nezala and she has um, aerobatics as well as speed smoke so that's probably going to be if you want to fodder her off but 
she's better for merges if you already have the original one or a copy of her. Sigurd provides close combat, close defense, so and speed smoke as well. He's very good unit if you have him. So if you have him, I suggest you keep him from merges. But like I said, close defense is one of the is a seal, but I don't believe we have it on the easily accessible on the Grail Pool. We have Picnic Jenny. She has the Toasty Skewer. And she has Raffle Staff as well as fire float bomb so mostly cheese fodder for healers only fire float bomb is are uh, is really good if for like arena and stuff like that if you run healers there and you have a um, spring bruno all he has is attack defense push and his ovoid staff which is kind of like a one of the herons Next we have Sander, which is really good if you want to pass both Close Counter and Quick Repose. You could also pass his Dus Ushiwa, which of course would be really good for Ether Raids as it has Hardy Bearing. And Hardy Bearing in Ether Raids is really valuable. It's also effective against Cavalries, but the Cavalries are on offense are not really something many people run there are some on defense you will find some like um brave uh Elliewood. next we have Tanith. Tanith is really good if you want to inherit harsh command plus in either chill attack or swiss peril Ephraim, if you have him, I suggest you keep him for merges, but if you want to fodder him off, that is Bullfighter and Close Guard. Of course, Luin is special spider fodder. I mean, he's always been special fire spider fodder. Uh, Spring Palace, she has Disarm Trap and Swiss Spiral. So we have a lot of Swiss Spiral all over. Just remember, Nesala also has that. So, But she has the Pegasus Carrot, which is a very um, odd weapon to use. I mean, it requires Triangle Advantage and everything. And so it's useless on a colorless unit because they don't have Triangle Advantage against anything. They only have the disadvantage against Raven Tomes, and that's it. But she's mostly here for disarm trap. And then you have a New Year's Fiorum, which she has attack, death, bond, attack, I mean, attack, speed, bond, attack, speed, link, and the Kaburaya, which grants defense plus two. And no, no, we have some chill speed built into it. So she's pretty good for fodder and she's also a pretty good unit for merges if you want to keep her. And finally for the final tier of all we have Corin. Corin is here because of his no follow-up. Grail is here for Fury 4. Although if you're you can also pass uh, the Faithful Axe and Fury 4 or to an armor unit you can pass armor march fury 4 because you can just pass fury 3 from mr fury himself uh hinata hector of course is here for this encounters and only this encounter that is basically the only thing you're gonna get out of him because both glimmer and um Weary Fighter are easily accessible and Berserk Armatsi is a personal weapon, so literally only this encounter. Again, it starts here for Ground Orders and Swiss Peril uh, 3. 
which you can pass both at the same time. So she's very valuable if you want to pass it to a flyer. But if you're not going for a flyer, she's still very valuable because of Swiss Sparrow uh, 3. Cliff, of course, has uh, Fortress Death Rest. And even though he has Chill Speed, Chill Speed is in the Three Force and the uh, Grilled from I believe is Pane that has Chill Speed. So for Fortress Death Res, you do need to pass all three. So you're not gonna be able to pass Fortress Death Res and something else. And finally, we have Levitain. Levitain, of course, has Mirror Impact. And Death Wrestling. And since you only need Mirror Strike 2, you can pass Mirror Impact and Death Wrestling at the same time. Or, or Attack Wave if you want, but I don't recommend it. And that is it for the normal ones. For the limited time we've seen them, you have Camilla, which um, really doesn't offer mar much unless you want merges. The only thing that is very exclusive is Leaf or Bounty. But I hardly ever see anybody farming with those. Kagero is a little better just because she does have um, Speed Rest Bond. She also has the Little Kairo, which is just a Wudao Dagger which I believe is the Bar of Shuriken. And then of course you have your th your four stars, Reposition, Desperation, um, Mirror Stance, Lance Breaker, and uh, Rest, uh, Drive Rest. That's basically all they are. One last thing that was definitely not in the update is that we do have a brand new item and it's called the Form Assaults. This will allow you to, they have it, it didn't explain it well, is you, it is under the, um, the notifications in the update, the patch notes, in the, uh, I saw it in the App Store, although this is, uh, this is my main account, so it's in the Google Store. It has something to do with um, holoforms, and it will allow you to get the souls of those units. It's not has not been clarified is you will be able to summon those units or get those units in any kind of way, but this does have to do with holoforms and being able to use the souls of those units somehow. All right, and that is it. As you can see, it already changed to the next day. Because, like I said, I always play very close to reset. But yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.